<laughs> I don't know, maybe you've wondered, are all those flashing lights really necessary? You and I have an insatiable appetite for electricity. Come with me and we'll look at the issues relative to wind farms and the communities that they serve. This is The Wind Farm Guy. Hi, this is Dennis Stout. Thank you for joining me for this episode of The Wind Farm Guy. Today we're considering all those flashing lights, those red lights that are on top of wind turbines. You might have asked yourself, is all of that really necessary? Well, the short answer is yes. Yes, it is. It's a safety thing. We live in a mobile society. Uh, many people travel. I travel a lot. And quite honestly, I want the pilot to be able to see any obstacles that are in front. And so, yeah, they do need to be there. And the FAA, the Federal Aviation Administration, they, they require it. Anything that is 200 foot high or higher has to have appropriate lighting on them. And so so that's, that is a requirement and they are a federal agency so you kind of need to do what they say. Um, I will say this, that the FAA already they, makes an exception for wind farms. Um, the FAA requirements are everything that is 200 foot higher, high, higher to have the, the lighting at its highest point. Well that's not really possible with a wind turbine, the highest point is a moving uh, object and so the lights are not on the highest point they're already on they're on the nacelle so that's already one exception and another exception is they don't require that all of the turbines have the light on it they're trying to accommodate the the, the needs and the desires of the local community and they decided that having that many lights out there would be pretty overwhelming and so they only allow, I mean they only require a certain percentage of the turbines to have the lighting on them. And the, there have been different ways that they have uh, done the layout of those lights. Um, you, when you look at uh, wind farms, you might see one where just the, the lights are scattered out throughout the wind farm, uh, kind of an e even distribution of the lights. Another way that some wind farms are, are the lighting is laid out is all of the turbines on the perimeter of the, of the project, each one of those will have a light, and then the rest are scattered throughout the middle, and that way it, an approaching pilot can see the, the, the outline of the wind farm and that's that you probably are seeing more that way but you know I don't know there are all sorts it, it changes and there are all sorts of ways to go about doing that and who knows what the the future holds for for that um, Wind farm companies do try to do things to lessen that effect of the, of, you know, on the local people here down on the ground. Um, some, some, uh, there, there, some, there have been inventions where that make kind of a cradle to put the light in, so the light goes up and out, but doesn't really cast down, trying to lessen the effect of, on on the ground. And those work to a certain degree. You know, I don't know what the future holds. There, there's no telling what's on on the horizon. I do know this. This. Cars today have sensors. I mean, it, it, they they know when you're about to hit something or ch changing lanes, or I mean, there are all sorts of sensors, and your car will actually take evasive action, and some of them will even park themselves. And, and so I, I take those type of advancements to 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 heart and think, you know, there might be something on the horizon that uh, will notify uh, a, a pilot of an approach, you know, as they're approaching a wind farm and they'll be able to see all of the wind turbines without any of the lighting on there at all. Who knows? Who knows what the future holds? If you like the information that I've shared in this video, be sure and, and hit the like button and subscribe so you get to future videos. And just know that wind farm companies put as few lights as they can uh, the, wind, the FAA requires a certain number to be on there and they're expensive and so the companies would prefer not to uh, waste a lot of money that way so that you put as few as they can. So know that they're all trying to give, and, and it's the same thing that you're wanting, fewer lights out there. This is Dennis Stout and I'm the Wind Farm Guy. Thank you for watching. Working together we can make good energy decisions and save our planet. I am the Wind Farm Guy.